If we leave this property or turn on the lights or make any loud noises, the police will catch us. Flights are grounded, flight paths being diverted. I feel like we're in a zombie apocalypse right now. This is so crazy. This is like the last of us. And it did start in Indonesia, like, oh my God. Happy New Year's Eve here in Bali, and we're gonna party tonight like it's 1945, because tomorrow it will be. The Balinese New Year is a celebration that only happens here. We're Madison Ivan, and we're about to celebrate Nepi. This is the biggest celebration of the year in Bali, and we're here for it. Like, it's such a special experience. And I think when we thought we were coming to Bali, we were worried that it was gonna be too touristy, and we end up here for this huge, cultural, incredible celebration. I'm so excited to get to be a part of this. And spend some time with our friend over there. The celebration started off last night with a purification ritual. Then today we have the Oga Oga celebration. We're there exercising the demons and bad spirits into these incredible Oga Oga scary monster statues that they've made out of bamboo and paper mache. Anyway, it's gonna be a wildly unique experience. We cannot wait. Let's go check out these Oga Oga. Oga Oga. I've named this Ooga Ooga Mr. Bean, but mean. I've decided this one is the evil spirit of lactose intolerance. These Ooga Ooga are meant to attract like the evil spirits that are here now to like go into them. And then at the end of the night, traditionally they are burned and all the evil spirits are burned away. And these Ooga Ooga are just so cool. They're so creative. They're mostly made of like bamboo and like recycled materials, paper mache. It's just incredible the artistry that goes into these, especially when they're just gonna be burned later. It's just absolutely, it's mind blowing. They spent so much time and effort and like it really has paid off. They're so beautiful. And a lot of the villages make a bigger Uga Uga that's carried by the men, but also a smaller one that's carried by the little kids. And so it's so cute to see them. They're so excited. The men are all resting right now because it's been a really hot day and the kids are like still playing with the Uga Uga that they brought, like practicing, like having a grand time. It's so much fun. I've named this Uga Uga Tiger King Revenge of the Tiger. It's coming for you, Joe. It's time to go find a spot for the parade. We mentioned earlier that this parade is a time for evil spirits to come out of everyone and go into the Uga Uga. And boy, were the evil spirits coming out tonight. We got an amazing spot in the second row, but now that the parade is starting, people are breaking the locals' rules and filling the streets, so now we're in the seventh or eighth row. To be able to put attention to your inner life, your mind, your heart, your speech, your action. So that's the main message and good luck and happy Nyepi for tomorrow to everyone. <laughs> This is so much fun. The Uga Ugas are really coming to life with the lights and the dancing. It's incredible. And these Uga Ugas even have voices.
if we leave this property or turn on the lights or make any loud noises, the police will catch us. Flights are grounded, flight paths being diverted. I feel like we're in a zombie apocalypse right now. This is so crazy. If we were to pass through this gate, we're done for. While all the strict rules feel a little bit scary and zombie apocalypse-y, the real point of today is that yesterday, the locals were summoning the demons to come to this island, but by the time they make it here today, we're supposed to be totally silent on total lockdown, and the demons will consider the island abandoned and not come back for a year. 1945, baby! But the other thing that people do today is they spend time working on themselves, meditating, doing yoga, finding that inner peace to start off the new year and grounding themselves before they start off the new year. gonna start with a meditation app it's the only time we're using our phone today but we just don't know how to meditate without an app like we're, we're not experts at this um, so we're gonna do that and see how we feel already not having my phone on me not checking technology it's just been a very relaxing day it's easy to get caught up in like if we take time off we should be going and doing something awesome if we're not taking time off like there's no reason to sit around. We need to be working. Like we each have our own business. Like that's not, um, yeah, not working is not an option. Um, so today has been so peaceful already. And I feel like this meditation is just gonna take it over the edge. And now we're gonna use insert sponsored meditation app here to <laughs> start our meditation. Contact our marketing email. Yeah. Noticing the rising and falling sensation of your breathing. It feels nice to like intentionally slow down. And I think the fact that the rest of the island is also slowing down makes it easier. It's easy to get caught up in all the things there are to do. But knowing that like not only can I not do these things today, but like, no one is. Like it's not like you're slacking. It's like this is the day meant for this mm -hmm. is really nice. Like obviously meditation isn't slacking. Like it's like taking the time to focus your brain. A lot of times like you can handle things more easily because you've done that. But it does sometimes feel like, oh, like I took 20 minutes out of my day to do that. And now it's like I'm behind or the opportunity cost. It's like, what could I have done in that 20 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Even though sometimes taking that 20 minutes mm -hmm. is what allows you to get so much done later on. It's hard to like embrace our humanity. It. Yeah. Our non-machine yeah. self. Yeah. But today, since all the machines are off. We're allowed to be humans. So now we're gonna do yoga, another very popular practice for Nepi. Um, yeah, just kind of keeping in this flow. We once again are using the phone because we don't know how to leave the yoga by ourselves, but we really aren't fully using our phone. Like I have 15 unread text messages, 60 unread emails, like <laughs> we're just using it for the app. I feel like time is passing more slowly, but I also feel like we're still doing a lot. Like taking the time, putting down Instagram, putting down social media, not focusing on work is really filling and like, it's been really cool. Yeah, and I'm not very flexible, so don't make fun of me, okay? <laughs> that was like a 10 minute yoga exercise yeah. and I felt, she's like, calm your heart rate. And I realized like, oh, my heart rate was going. We've eaten two meals, we've taken a nap, We've done meditation, we've done yoga, we've done so we slept in till 10. And yet, it's only 1.20. And I don't Super feel productive. bored. Like I feel like, yeah, I feel like we're like really getting stuff done. I feel like we really like, like personally fulfilled. productive. Yeah, yeah. It's been really cool. I just started this book today and I'm already two thirds of the way through it. <laughs> I even finished this book. I made it halfway through mine, took a nap, we ate a meal, and finally we're stargazing. It has been so incredible to experience Nepi here in Bali. The contrast between the chaos of the Uga Uga parade and the serenity of the silent day is so unique and cool. I absolutely love how all aspects of the Balinese New Year are meant to strengthen your inner self. 
letting go of negativity and bad spirits yesterday and relaxing and refocusing today. My Balinese New Year's resolution is for you to subscribe. Yay! So please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.